What's good people? Um, today I'm going to show you quickly how to make the Nashville effect, which was first found on an iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, etc. app called Instagram, which basically allowed you to edit your image automatically by just pressing a button with this amazing effect called Nashville. It became very, very popular and the problem was that you could only do this effect using Instagram, this app. Um, the problem with that is some people didn't have an iPod product, an Apple product, sorry, where they weren't able to do it or they wanted to do it for other images instead of using Instagram because Instagram's little rules are a bit annoying and they only allowed certain size images and etc. So I'm going to show you how to make it in Photoshop. This is an image that I took for my photography project. Now I'm going to turn on the Nashville effect and it automatically pops out all the colors and it makes it almost like a lom lomography effect almost but that's enough talking i will show you how to make it so let me just delete the Nashville effect first thing you're going to want to do is open your image into photoshop once you've opened it we're going to want to go down to this circle that's half black half white this is called the adjustment layer tab you're going to want to get familiar with this as this is all we are going to be using for this tutorial. So we're going to click on it and we're going to click on curves. You should get a little box popping up here or somewhere else on your screen. And we're going to click on this drop down menu and go on the greens. We're going to click at the bottom over here. Click. And we're going to change the output to 37. Okay. We're going to go back to the drop down um, box and we're going to go on the blues. We're going to again click at the bottom and we are going to change the output to 131. Once we've done that, we're going to go back to the adjustment layer tab and we are going to click on levels. We are going to change the middle level to 1.36 and we're going to change the last level to 236. Okay. Once we're done with that, we're going to click on the adjustment layer tab again, and we're going to go to brightness and contrast. We're going to want to make sure use legacy is unchecked at all times. Okay. And then we're just going to change the brightness to six and the contrast to 51. Once we're done that, we're going to go back to adjustments layer and enter a new curves again. This time we're going to go on green. We're going to click at the bottom again, as we did before. However, this time we're changing the input. We're going to change it to 13. And we're going to go back to the drop down box and go on the blues. Do the same thing, click at the bottom and change the input to 88. Now we're going to go to the brightness and contrast one more time. Again, make sure use legacy is unchecked. We're going to change the brightness to minus six and the contrast to 33. All right, when we've done that, we're going to go and enter a curves um, adjustment layer one more time. But this time we're going to go into the reds. We're going to change, click at the bottom again, like we did before and change the output to four. And we're going to go to the blues, click, and change the output to 14. All right. Now we're going to go to adjustment layer one more time and click on solid color. We're going to want to enter the color FFDAAD. We're going to press OK. And we're going to select the blending mode to be multiply. Okay, now I'm just going to click on the group. I'm going to name my group Nashville Effect. And I'm just going to put every single one of these into here. And the great thing is now we can just change the opacity. If there's too much effects or if it's too strong for us, we can just simply low down our opacity and it will meet our needs. Um, this effect works for every single type of image. Um, however, I know I have a few little lazy viewers and all this and that. So I will provide a download link in the description below where you'll be able to download this file. Okay. 
And what this file will do is you'll just open it up. It's a PSD file. And whatever image you want to apply the effect to, you just drag it like so if it drags. Bear with me. Okay. And just drop it onto an image. And then you just play around with the effect, um, the opacity, sorry, to match your effect needs. Um, thank you for watching the tutorial. Tell me in the comments below what you guys think of this effect. Don't forget you can download it, subscribe, and thumbs up the video. Thank you for watching. Till next time, peace.